So here on this job today, I'm gonna to use Unchained, Ultimate All Fibrant, and Blue Label Pre-Spray. And I even got the TMF Fresh Blocks with the Sweet Breeze. I got my TMF UV light. This is actually the version three. We're coming out with version four very soon here. So I'm gonna be checking for any urine, feces, vomit. But uh, you know, it will pick up some pest control stuff and you know, certain types of lint. And then uh, especially also when you go by, you know, around the dryer or laundry section, you, know, you see certain things too. Here we we're gonna try to clean the tile and grout. So when you're cleaning tile and grout around, you know, the, the toilets, uh, you can use Grout Master, but it's always best to use an acid, such as kick acid, to fully remove all the urine stains around the toilet area. And as you see here, the UV light can still look through, you know, all through the sunlight as well, so you don't have to close the blinds, you know, every time that you want to use a UV light to find certain things. It works like a charm. No one likes to clean the stairs and no one actually ever vacuums the stairs. So you always wanna make an opportunity to vacuum them, especially when they have a lot of dog dander, just to help remove a lot of the, the hair and even the odors on the stairs before you even pre-spray. So otherwise it's gonna be a big mess and very hard to get out afterwards. You might even have a wick back or call back rather. And of course, they didn't actually vacuum any of the house. I always tried to get them to vacuum the day before, but uh, they actually paid for vacuuming. That is an uh, extra charge that we do charge for. So you do want to have that on your price list just in case. Some people don't charge, they'll just embed it in the price. But a lot of times, you know, we'll just, you will do either or depending on uh, the season. I had to come out here and dump this a couple times so you can see how dusty and how much dog dander there actually was. So imagine if you guys were just gonna go ahead and pre-spray everything. And it's kind of like pre-spraying without vacuum of anything. You know, it's, it's gonna bring a lot of mud into it. The hair is gonna get stuck all the fibers and the carpet's gonna smell at least a day or two later. So it's always best to get as much out as possible before you even start cleaning the carpets. Here I'm using Unchained. I'm actually mixing up Unchained with the Blue Label Pre-Spray inside a wireless sprayer. And uh, these wireless sprayers, we're actually coming out with a custom model one uh, this November. So keep a lookout for that. It's gonna be all red. It's gonna have some modifications to it. I think you guys be very pleased. We're very stoked to release it to the public. But uh, I do do this before I bring up any hoses so that way I'm not spraying over the hoses. Uh, I like to spray at least probably about three areas at a time to let it dwell, especially the more uh, dirtier areas and I'll even do a hallway too but you don't want it to dry up whatsoever so after you you know mist everything down if you're cleaning in a certain area then I would just grab the wand and just mist over those areas to keep your pre-spray wet as possible again you just don't want it to dry up again with this truck right here it came with a lot of used items so I'm using one of the older CRBs here. Had to use at least something just to go ahead and agitate the carpet as much as possible for the pre-spray. And again, this house had heavy, heavy dog dander. So I wanted to kind of attack it in every angle possible. And you do want to use a counter-rotating brush. Uh, we have some amazing counter-rotating brushes in the TMF store. Uh, they do come in 10 inches, 15, 17, and 20. So you don't want your hoses falling down. I like to you know, hook up a stair hook to both the vacuum hose and the solution hose. 
uh, when I'm upstairs so that way everything's not just falling down. All right, I like to use Rave. As you see, there's a big brown spot here, even on brown carpet. So I didn't know what it fully was. Didn't seem like it was urine, but I'm gonna go and saturate it with Rave even before I pre-spray everything. And then uh, you can just let it sit in for a little bit. You can blot it with a white towel, agitate it a little bit, it should come out no problem. But uh, you can also just extract it. But myself, I like to do the Nike Shuffle as well. So you can do that. And then just go and extract it over with a wand and everything comes on out. So you, again, you still wanna keep it wet as possible and agitate it. And then uh, like I said, it should come out no problem. This was actually a 16 inch wand that we're using. So that's why you're gonna see uh, six jets and also the small sight window on here. This is a TMF swivel wand. I did have to extract it a couple times. I do want to rinse it out much as possible. Now in the hallway by the laundry area, they actually spilled a lot of laundry detergent. So there was a lot of soap residue down there. So in order to get all the soap residue out, I had some white stuff on the ground. The white stuff is called X-Foam, and that's what helps uh, you know, keep your suction strong. And it also kills any soap residue through your lines and even within the carpets. I clean stairs a little bit differently than everybody else. Sometimes I'll even clean it with the wand first, but then I go back over with the stair tool. Uh, I always still clean, you know, the tops, the backs, and even the lips. It's always best to, you know, do as much as possible. They're, they're always the dirtiest. I still leave the designs in them, especially for empty homes, for real estate agents to know that, hey, the carpet's been cleaned. Uh, it gives it a nice little final touch. So here's TMF Fresh Blocks uh, with Sweet Breeze Unchained Scent. It smells amazing. Uh, you know, just, all you gotta do is open it up. You'll find a return, put it inside the return. You're not gonna smell it right away, but uh, within probably about 15, 20 minutes, start coming through all the vents, make the house smell fresh. It gives it the final touch uh, for, for their walkthroughs. And that's all you need. It's great, it's great little final touch for you guys. So here is the dump. Uh, if you find a sewage line, you wanna make sure you're doing it legally and you just put it right down there to the sewage uh, drain out. They're best things to have when you're in certain areas.